I have on the same dress from the um last video because I just decided to jump straight into the next one. Um, I know I shared a headband wig with you all, and I still love it. Um, but I found another gem um, from watching Wigs to Wasteland. Yeah, Wigs to Wasteland. And it's the Converter Cap by Outro. I know everybody probably know about this wig. But, you know, I don't do wigs a whole lot. In fact, now I own two. Um, and I did own two before. But it's about five years ago. But anyway, it is so easy to put on. There, or there is no lace, no glue, no none of that. You just put it on and go. Now it is the converter cap wig, and it came in this with plastic around it. But um, uh, y'all know I like to try stuff before I come on here. I you know tell you that all the time. So, I can't find the plastic. But, and I didn't, I'm not storing the wig in this. I'm storing the wig in um, a Ziploc bag with the card. Um, I didn't bring the card in here. But, anyway, I'm going to read it to you. This is the Converter Cap by Artray. And it is the after midnight now they have one that is more natural looking that mimics 4c hair almost exactly but it's always sold out i i tried for weeks to get it and i couldn't so um this is what it looks like after it's been worn straight out the pack <laughs> yeah um i've already worn it and it is very curly but i have some ideas for these curls because um with, you know, if I just zoosh them up a little bit, you know, keep them from, and take some of the definition out, like I started doing here, and I see, oh, let me show them first, before I, um, do my own thing, and I'm gonna do a little trimming, I haven't trimmed it yet, because I wanted you all to see the actual length of it, um, but it is a, it is a converter cap, and it has four cones in it one at the top can you all see that wait i got my red light on but i don't know what's going on but there you go one at the top two on the sides like this and one in the back and it also has a drawstring now they advertise that it can be worn as a ponytail but um your girl head was too big for a ponytail this thick so i ain't even try it if you saw my vlog where i went to Gainesville to the doctor, then you saw me with it on With a headband. I'm not gonna put a headband on today because I'm gonna make this kind of quick or as quick as I can but um, I Noticed that the sides were freezing where it was touching and I was like, yeah That's kind of like what I wanted to look like so I'm about to frizz it all out all over after I finish this but um It is so simple. I put my edges back earlier as you can see, that's the that ebbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. So, and then you just slip it on. Oh, and I just got my hair in some big twists, like literally like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twists. Seven twists. And, because I can't braid my own hair, y'all. And so, you just slip it on. I don't use the cones. Um... The cap size is very comfortable, and there you go. And you can stop there if you want to and just bring some hair to the front. Now, what I did the first time I wore it was I brought the hair to the front, but I wasn't ready to come cut it yet. So I just took a good old hairpin. Actually, I took three, but I only have one with me right now. Um, and I just took the bang part. And pushed it back. And hold on, y'all. Um, I just took the bang part and pushed it back. And put my hairpin about right there. And then let it fall forward. And I did that on the sides also. And 
that helped me to kind of find the length that I want and you don't see the edge of the cap. Now, what I love about it is, you see that edge of that cap? I could put it back further if I wanted to. And in doing so, then, as you saw in my Gainesville vlog, I can um, put my headband around it and push it back like that. I also know that once I do my little trimming and frizz it up some, I notice that you can kind of like get away with a little part. You know, really, once I frizz this so that it fluffs up, I'll be able, which these curls are pretty, but they are just not me because I actually love my 4C hair. But when I say that I'm going to swish it up a little bit, what I'm going to do is just do this all over. You know, I'm not going to do it with a comb because I don't want it too frizzy or a brush. But you see how kind of like taking some of that uniformness out of it makes the hair more believable because this is synthetic hair yeah your girl ain't ready for no human hair wig yet because i don't wear them enough for that uh, just because of the problems with my hands i wanted something you know that was kind of quick and like if i get a little tangle like i have here i'm just gonna get the shears and clip that off but now as you can see and I'm not going to do this too much because I don't want it to get too big. I know ain't nothing wrong with some big hair. Yeah. And like I said, I'm going to cut the front. But y'all, I love this unit. I'm praying that I can get the other one that looks more natural. Um, or more like my 4C hair. But I also love the colors. Let me tell y'all what colors this are. This is DR ginger toffee and again this is the after midnight um unit um yeah i actually think two of them order my mom one of these i could she yeah she'll wear a wig she she she'll wear a wig so, um yeah <laughs> yeah she get all her money's worth out of her but yeah you see how it's getting bigger but and the curls are getting a little more frizzier so i'm just gonna continue that but i'm not gonna hold y'all up doing it so and then i'm gonna just you know layer it around my face but do you see you cannot really see the edge in fact you can't see it if anybody in your face that close that they can see the edge of this converter cap then guess what if they don't like it they need to buy you another one that's that that's what i'm saying yeah but yeah, y'all. So yeah, your girl got some longer hair. Um, and this is my like we're gonna look a little special hair. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna just keep frizzing it, keep pulling at it, and just mess up these curls some. I don't want to be this this uniform. That's a little too uniform. I'm doing a little clipping because it is. It's just a circle. It doesn't frame my face like I want it to, cause I don't want it necessarily. See, I, yeah, but I am. So I am gonna do a little bit of clipping. The hairpin is good, but I want to do something permanent, cause, um, you know, if my hands get worse, then things like this are gonna be, you know, easier for me than trying to actually, um, style my own hair. But, um, yeah, I just want to bring you all this, um, converter cap, you know, like, yeah, something a little different, um, well, it's different for me, and it is approximately $16, um, and if you just watch the website, Sam's always, because I got this from samsbeauty.com, I'm going to put a link in the, um, description box. But, y'all, they always have sales. I noticed because I kept going back to the website. They always have sales and um, they have free shipping. I think it's over $49. But, like I said, I'm going to put a link to the website. And I'm also going to put the information for this unit. So, if there's anyone interested. And, y'all, give me a thumbs up for um, coming back and showing it to you all. And... 
for your girl not dwelling on the fact that um she can't necessarily do her hair anymore because of her hands and finding some alter alternate ways to still look cute. You yeah. know. So can y'all imagine this? Like when I cut it and put some bigger earrings on and um also the day I was coming from Gainesville, um, I got tired of the hairband on my neck. So I took it all and put it all up and pulled a little hairband thing like up in a pineapple and y'all it was so cute even like that so that's why i'm not gonna take any length off the um size in the bed so that i can wear it like that when i want to but yeah here it is yeah i'm kind of feeling that color i don't not gonna color my own hair yep but there you go i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for coming and watching um you know, like, comment, subscribe, and I gotta say it again. Be a blessing and stay blessed. I'll see you next time, sugars.